Hi folks, welcome to an updated Lando show. I just gave this nice gentleman in the Dodge Caravan a jump. And I stuck this little thing in there before we gave it a jump to see what it'd do. And it didn't light up any colors in it. But as soon as I jump started, he had one of those old charger self-started things, but it wasn't charged up. And I, so I gave him a little jump from, we nicknamed this car Vicar. <laughs> I call it the Vicar. Or my mom calls this car Vicky, short for Crown Victoria. And um, this thing right here will tell you, and, and as soon as he started up, it lit up green. Not self-explanatory. But when we first plugged it in there, it didn't read anything. If Probably if it would have read anything, and he just got the battery replaced in there, it would have lit up red. So, I, I don't know what's wrong. It's weird. He just got a new battery in there, and I had to give it a jump, and it... And after it started up, it read okay. Because if the alternator was screwed up, it would do that. And it read up all green. Okay. Well, anyway, let me get this first segment underway. This is about restaurants that come and go. I said I was going to make a vlog. And here's the first of one of the many strip centers here in northern Thibodeau, Louisiana on St. Mary Street, AKA Highway 1. Here, of course, we had a Hardee's. They closed it a couple of months ago. Right at the beginning of January, I believe. I, I showed y'all a small clip video on Facebook, but they just, they closed it up. It opened like in 2011 or 2012, and um, they weren't doing anything. But when I went go there, they would screw my order up right and left. They put too much ketchup on my burger, or they'd get mixed up with somebody else's order. So they gave up, packed up, and left. It's such a disappointment. What is to become of that? Over here in this empty store, Rouse's Chain Supermarket owns this right here. But what I've been told, this used to be a Kmart. It went out a long time ago, probably way before we moved in here, I believe. Subway used to be a Blimpy's right there. And we got two gyms right there. We got a Conoco and McDonald's, number one McDonald's, I call it. Capital One, that used to be a Hibernia Bank. I don't do business anymore because they took away free checking. So I don't have a checking account with them anymore. So all you hackers and things like that listening, you can go ahead and hack away because I ain't got no account. Okay, so we're going to move south. I'm going to show you what else is come and go around here. Okay, as we go south, see they've just built this strip right here. See, they, they close things up to open up new stuff. We got what's called Cajun Potato. That's the new location. It's like Spudsy Malone's from the middle, stuffed potatoes, and they're pretty good. They're not bad. Uh, but they, that's the second one they got. The other one's over by the, the college campus, Nichols State University right here to the right we have a Texaco and they closed their Jiffy Lube up it's not open it's not open it closed up so is their car wash so that's out over here since we had Hurricane Gustav I mean no Isaac 2012 New Gardens Chinese restaurant Ugh, they were greasy and they've been closed ever since the hurricane find this spa place this, this right here I don't know what that was brick building it's been closed up for some time they build this new stuff right here storage 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 right and left close that's all closed up it, it's half and half and then, that's what kills me they close stuff up and yet build there's our animal hospital and dead ahead right over there is Direct Auto Insurance 2012, almost five years ago, history took place when I first met Mickey James and that was the most priceless hug I've ever gotten in the world. Miss you, Mickey. I hope to see you again next year when y'all come back to New Orleans, WrestleMania 34. <laughs> golf was a Chevron. They went back to golf. 
moving along. Okay, I'm gonna turn in here for a minute. I don't know, here's our O'Reilly. It gets fair business. Now, I don't know what this was to the left, as you can see. It's up for leasing. So it's half and half. This was Emails, Emails uh, Furniture Store. They closed up and Lynn's Interiors just bought it out because there's always new houses going up around here. We got a Papa John's that's always been there since you know we've been here. It'll be 12 years. I'm gonna go ahead and say July since we started moving here back in 2005. Uh, all right, now here's a, here's another kicker, real killer, and it's listed. Pulse Restaurant, they're only open on weekend afternoons. And here's what was a church's. Packed up several months ago, and look at it. it just sits in the dark empty. So long, churches. Crazy. Shell tire store lube center those tires are expensive i just recommend going to walmart to get your tires and get a decent price there because these people will will suck your wallet dry these mom and pa chains i'm sorry to put it down like that but they do and here was the old library they moved to central old building here and here we go to the town square i'm not going to get into that today i want to go down to the north side north canal boulevard another bad thing or crazy thing here is our what was our rallies hamburgers and i pretty much liked them but they closed up they've been closed up for i think a couple years now but it it just sits there in the dark i don't know what their deal is but they have one in homa but they closed up. I enjoyed their burgers. Pickle Boy, Bridget West, yeah, are there. I enjoyed them. And they closed it up. I, I enjoy hamburgers. And y'all claim y'all love Carl's and Rallies. Same shit. Uh, but we got a whole chain of things right here. Uh, we had a Dairy Queen up here. That closed up and it turned into a local cage on chain called off the hook and I think that's a copyright from the show with with the wrestler um, what is his name with the beard well y'all tell me it'll come to mind later in the comment section uh, where was the Dairy Queen off the hook off the hook it's, it's right along here we got a Chili's eh. well, I know it was here Okay, here's that bizarre intersection where people get confused again. See, you got left turn signal, left turn signal, and two green lights there. There you got three lights, but they people get confused. The one on the far left is the left turn, but there are no damn signs like this at this intersection saying left turn signal. Crazy. <laughs> okay, now I'm out of the noise belt the traffic now here we got Santa Fe cattle and grill which is like much like Texas Roadhouse and they're pretty good they're okay you know they peanut shells on the floor place over here we got a highs I mean lows <laughs> and a big truck fixing to run me over with the LSU thing around <laughs> trap diesel <laughs> Remember what I told you about a compression rattle trap truck? <laughs> hey, if there's, they save gas, it's cool, you know? But where was, I can't find it. Or they turned the, I think it's right up here. Here it is. All right, right over here is what was Dairy Queen. And it's called Off the Hook. And as you can see, yeah, church got out. And we're up daylight savings here on a nice, crisp, 53 degree weather day. And there goes a new Ford truck with the Dr. Seuss eyeball headlights. You know, y'all look at the Dr. Seuss 
pupils and they, they're shaped like a U and that's what those the new F-150s from 2015 on up look like. But anyway, here's off the hook. And they're not bad. They're expensive, but not bad. They serve shrimp, gumbo, all kinds of Cajun Creole. See, they're doing pretty good. And Dairy Queen, when it was there, they just didn't do anything. It, it's crazy. Over here at this small, then we got our Walmart. I call it Calming Mart because they check your receipt. You can't go out here and once we see a receipt. No, you can't check this item out. <sighs> China Gardens, I don't know if they're still around. We, we had a lot of, they call them buffets here, <laughs> Chinese. But that one, I, that first one I showed you next to the, whatchamacallit, maybe they are open. Yeah, they are. So that's two Chinese buffets we got open. We got that, and we got Lin's Chinese buffet. And really, that's about it on this side of Thibodeau. I haven't gone on the south or east side really not much more and um till right now till next time bon appetit bon appetit